Holographic NIA displays are an emerging technology promising a new generation of VR and AR systems. In a holographic NIA display, a laser emits coherent light that propagates to a spatial light modulator. Here, the phase of the field is delayed by the SLM pixels. Interference creates the image that is seen by the user through an eyepiece. How to compute the SLM pattern is one of the core challenges of computer-generated holography. There are basically two types of CGH algorithms, iterative and direct methods. Iterative methods are typically slower but better, and direct methods are fast but often not great. In our eTech, we demonstrate that a stochastic gradient descent approach that uses a camera in the loop achieves the best quality of all methods, and we've developed a neural network architecture called HoloNet that achieves almost the same quality in real time. Looking at a direct comparison of conventional CGH and our camera in the loop approach, we see that we can achieve a significantly better image quality. The colors and contrast are a lot better, noise is significantly reduced, for example, on the background, and the image just looks a lot better. Compared to the, direct, to the best direct methods today, our neural network is substantially better and it's real time. All of these results are captured with our prototype holographic NIA display. Here's our experimental setup, which uses a laser, collimating optics, an SLM, a 4F system, and a camera. Let's zoom in. This is a live captured result of HoloNet. The content is generated in real time and captured in real time. The white box illustrates the active display area. All light outside that box is not constrained by the algorithm. Although these results are not perfect, this is probably the best real-time method anyone has shown. Let's stop at this frame and look at some comparisons. Here's the next best real-time method, which is significantly worse. For completeness, here are also some results that are pre-computed with gershberg saxon The results are very noisy. Working or holography is a bit better, but also not great. This is our camera in the loop optimization, which still isn't perfect, but among all of these methods, definitely the best by a large margin. Again, this result, similar to the other iterative methods, is not computed in real time, but captured live. You can find more information on our website at computationalimaging.org.